I'm going to say this to you. People might misunderstand me, but I'll say it for the first time. A lot of people might, oh, why is he saying this? There's a great man of God who died. We all know him. He was into philanthropy. He was in Lagos. And he's a great prophet. People said all kinds of things. I personally had an issue with him. Because someone, some lady came on his altar and was giving testimonies of things I know never happened. And she said how she came to her church, how this happened, and they were lies, they were not true. And she spoke against the late Archbishop, she spoke against Papa Adeboye, she spoke against Papa Ayo. The lady was speaking against more than one hour. So I personally overreacted, which I wasn't supposed to do. I got upset and my media had to respond. And I came on the altar and I attacked the man. I said, for me, you are older than me, so I don't have a problem you attacking me. But if somebody stands on your altar and attack all these men and you didn't stop, I didn't know that there was a video where he condemned the actions of that woman. Because obviously, it's like he didn't watch. He was not um, around the pulpit when the man was doing that. And he said that all those people that the woman has condemned, they are his brothers. That he will not allow her to condemn. I didn't know. I was so rash. You see, I, I've seen a lot in life. I don't follow the social. No! When you are a man of God, that you are, you are responding according to social media information, where is the Holy Spirit? So that's what I'm telling you. I've made mistakes that make me now, over the years, I'm very sensitive. I don't care what I see, what I hear, what is the Lord saying? So I responded rashly. And um, after I did that, the Holy Spirit rebuked me and said, you don't do that. You don't fight your brother. A lot of people call, you see, when that man died, I had a lot of nonsense. Some came out, he's fake, he's this. Now listen to me. You can say whatever you want to say. What I am saying is that validation is of God. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Before, you know, he died, we made peace. Somebody broke out peace and we spoke and I apologized to him that I didn't see the video. He said, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't have supported that thing that woman did. And I said, honestly, I was so wrong. I was so rash. I was trying to, I wasn't too happy that the archbishop, the archbishop is dead. So I felt, why is somebody lying? Why is somebody lying? You know, I felt that wasn't right. Because we are alive. You lied about us that are alive. You never lied about somebody who is dead again. How you went to meet that man? This man died in 1998 now. So why would you be lying that you went to meet the man um, about five years ago? He died 98. So why are you lying? I never knew he corrected it. I, what's more, what am I saying what I'm saying? I had people come out lashing, see? And I held my mom like, these things, what is going on in the body of Christ? Have you heard? I know some are going to say, oh, we should be careful of um, human worship. When I make references to Papa Kumuyi, references to Papa Deba, have you heard those men come out to start condemning people, to say this is fake, that is fake? They preach Jesus. They don't do that. I'm saying this to you, young minister of God or a minister of God who's coming up. Follow what is right. Dissent disabuse your mind of anybody and focus on Jesus who has called you, who you are following. Listen to me. Are there people with wrong spirits? Yes. Are there people from hell? Yes. But Gamaliel, a doctor of the law, in Acts chapter 5, he stood up and said, Verse 38 and 39, If this be of God, it will stand. But if it is not of God, it will not stand. We've seen the rise of many that our spirits did not agree with. We never said a word. It fizzled out. But if it is of God, Fight it. Condemn it. It will stand. What's my counsel to you today? Focus on the ministry. Take heed to thyself. Acts 20 verse 28 I believe. Take heed first to thyself. Then to the flocks which the Lord has made you overseer. Minister of God. Walk on your life. Spend time with Jesus. Spend time in intimacy. Don't compare yourself. 2 Corinthians 10, 12. We are not among those who compare themselves with themselves. He said, no, those who do that are not wise. Today, 
estimation and rankings of ministries now ABC attendance building cash attendance big church big building more money no that's now the rate no the ranking of ministry is God God knows who is with him but let's help ourselves walk with God walk with God these men walk with God these men walk with God let's walk with God let's be sensitive no man is anything of himself one time John 3 27 he said no man can receive anything except it be given to him from above anything you have received was given to you from above the anointing of a king can rest on a kid when we see ministers of God even those who are critical we will still love them but we'll be praying for them we're praying for them because we should stop the pulpit is not a weapon to attack your brother 